everyone, happy Tuesday, I think it is. My name's Michaela Wade and I'm the co-founder of Family Law Assistance. We help you represent yourself when we get the results with at a fraction of the cost of a solicitor. So today I'm talking about when was, the, I wanna hear from you. This is kind of an audience participation kind of a thing. I wanna know from you, when did you know the exact moment that you knew that your relationship slash marriage was over in case you've been living under a rock lately you may have seen that there is a new shake-up in family law the first one in about over 50 years and there's a new way of divorcing now taking away the blame game but i just want to take i just want to take a moment to acknowledge kind of like how we got here because listen people get married all the time people fall in love they marry and then i don't know this is the real tea right it's all very well um, talking about the Matrimonial Causes Act and the Separation and Dissolution Act, but that means nothing. Now, for me, <laughs> when I think back to my first marriage, I swear to God, every time I say that, it sounds like I've had a string of marriages. I haven't. I'm only married twice. On my second marriage. But on my first marriage, I, I can absolutely pinpoint the time when I thought, do you know what? I'm I'm done. I'm done. But I smile and I laugh because it's not the time where you think it should have been. So the time it should have been over, well, there's a whole heap of things, I guess, but the time it should have been over was the time that I thought, no, we're going to carry on. We plow on because we do that, right? So the time I should have had, so my ex-husband, it's, it's common knowledge, but my ex-husband slept with a prostitute. There we go, we did. And at that point, you would have thought, okay, like if that doesn't say, it's over. I don't quite know what does. <laughs> but, but no, it was almost as if like, I had I ha read the room, Kyla, had I not, how, how had I got to this point in my life where I thought it was okay and acceptable? I mean, I know what was going through my head at the time. What was going through my head at the time was, you made vows. Like, it was really serious. You know, you made your bed that you must now lie in it. I was, I was like that emotionally tone deaf to realise quite what was going on. Actually, the time that um, I did say, you know what, enough's enough, was actually when they said that he was having an affair with somebody else. And at that point, I thought, OK, now I'm done. But what I still find mind blowing is that it taken me from point A to point B to realise, oh, and I, and I can clear as day remember what I was thinking, feeling, where I was standing. So I was standing in the kitchen. I was making a bacon butty. It's always the small things. You know, people always remember the small things. The details count. And I remember I was making a bacon butty. And I was pouring. I was, bear with me, guys. I was pouring tomato ketchup on my bacon butty. And he just, out of the blue, just said that he was in a relationship with someone else. But I think it was just the mat, the cold matter of fact way in which you delivered that news and i just remember just i remember holding my <laughs> the bacon butty by the way got cold okay just fyi in that and i remember sort of holding my tomato ketchup <laughs> suspended in there thinking did i did i did i just hear that right i squirted <laughs> i squirted the tomato sauce on my bacon butty and then i just knew at that point i just knew Okay, we're done here. And that was that. So I want to know from you, okay, did you know when it was time? And, you know, it's funny because what side of that coin have you been on? Have you been the one that was delivering the news to say, look, you know, it's over. It's kind of, it's kind of not working. Or were you the one that had that news delivered to you? Were you kind of like sort of, wasn't kind of in my situation, but were you the one, what side of the coin were you on? Can you pinpoint that moment when you thought it's over, it's done? You know, it comes with the new online divorce system. Now, the what's interesting is that when I got divorced way back in the day, which I know makes me sound like a dinosaur at this point, but I remember getting divorced way back in the day and like legal aid was still a thing. It, it's not a thing right now. OK, guys, so if you are thinking 
Um, <laughs> oh, Louise, I'm just seeing comments in. Good morning, Louise. Good morning, gorgeous. Good, good morning. Good afternoon. I just typed Liz. Uh, good afternoon. Happy Maca Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday to you. I knew, and later it was confirmed. Right, 10 years ago now. Louise, me and you must have had a similar kind of timeline. Actually, it was a bit longer than mine. But I was, I'm was, i with you. I kind of knew. You, you, when you know, you know. And I knew that, honestly, my ex-husband at the time, I think he was seeing somebody else. And um, But you don't want to believe it, do you? You know, you don't act when you think you should act. I always remember thinking, like, logically, I remember thinking, I should be angry. Yeah, I should be really angry. But I wasn't. It's weird. Like the the, the delayed reaction. Oh, the anger came later. <laughs> oh, it came later. But at the time, it's just like this kind of it's shock, isn't it? I don't know, Louise, if you went through this, but it's just that shock, isn't it? You just think I should be reacting at this point. Why am I not reacting? I'm still not reacting. Anywho, anyhow, it, it comes. You know, this comes on sort of. We've got this whole thing now where the blame game of a divorce is taken away. And quite frankly, I personally think it's helpful because I remember when I had to do. I remember when I had to do my own divorce uh, petition. Well, like, legal aid was a thing. They kind, they sort of did it, but they didn't. You know, as a paralegal, I was a qualified paralegal at the time of um, getting my divorce. So, I know my legal aid solicitors who weren't that great. Um, kind of were my secretary also i'm a control freak so i wanted to make sure that everything was right so i knew exactly what should go in a divorce petition and what shouldn't i kind of knew all of that but i didn't i i just sat there and oh oh because anger had set in by this point you know what anger said at this point i wanted everybody to know exactly what he'd done and nobody's going to tell me different <laughs> Honestly, I think I went into chapter and verse. And those of you that know me know I'm not the most verbose person on the planet. So for me to want to go paragraph after paragraph after paragraph, Louise, I've just seen your comments, darling. I knew the day I married my ex-husband, he was going to cheat. Weird, isn't it? Isn't it weird? And you just think, oh, I'm just going to plow on with this regardless, like father, like son. The ex-husband no longer sees his kids. Sad, that's so sad. But I, I, I agree. So weirdly, I, it's weird. I... I I didn't know actually. So when I married my first husband, I knew something was up on the honeymoon. Okay, now I'm a, <laughs> those that know me, you, those that know me know that I'm a perfectionist. I'm a control freak, and I like to be on the go. So I need to like be planning stuff. So I planned the wedding, did all the bits and pieces, um, and I remember that on the honeymoon, he fell asleep. Like, like, not just no, we're not talking jet lag here. We went to Greece for our honeymoon. We're not talking jet lag. But he slept throughout the whole honeymoon. I remember saying to him, my dad organised the whole thing. I remember saying to him, I said, why are you falling asleep? And he's like, I'm just so knackered. And I remember thinking at that point, but you haven't done anything. Um, yeah, uh, Louise, it was a shock. You're right, it was. I think the moment I had my sort of, my tomato bottle, tomato sauce bottle sort of suspended in midair and he delivered the news, like I knew, that's the, that, I knew. <laughs> It's like and I, the look of the I just ah uh, you're right it was a shock nonetheless best thing that could have happened amen sister I'm Louise I'm sort of double high fiving you absolutely it was the best thing ever but when I thought about doing my own divorce like um seriously I I wanted to put everything down I'm not so sure in hindsight that was helpful retail therapy was helpful <laughs> dragging up everything that he done and his many character faults on a on a on a, on a d8 divorce application possibly the not the most healthiest thing um oh my gosh look, louise i've just seen expert husband has now gone missing his father is now looking for me oh my gosh isn't it weird though sort of people's mental health and people's reason for doing things you know who knows you know it's just their world but i'm i'm with you louise i think certainly in a much better place now but i just like i said taking away I don't know if I'd have had that sort of no fault divorce back then. I think I think I'd, it would have been for the best, honestly, because listen, you know, I was pissed <laughs> when when the, when the shock had disappeared and I was getting down to it and anger had set in. Man, I was pissed and I sort of wanted to have my own back, you know. And I remember wanting to put everything down, but honestly, at big picture, I don't think it was particularly helpful. Um, I think this new divorce, certainly in theory, I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna go into the rants about sort of the life, the what it's gonna be like. There's been a huge upsurge in um, the no fault divorces, as I suspected there would be. 
but I think if I'd have had that back then, I just think that would have been so much more helpful, so much more healthy for my my mental well-being. You know, I wouldn't have been so consumed because don't get me wrong, there was a period where I was definitely consumed. Aren't we all? So I want to know from you, just a short rant, you know, just a short rant, just a short, just check in with you guys, spilling the tea on exactly kind of what goes on, because this is real life. Like I said, no one cares about so much the law, but this is real life, you know? So I want to know from you, when was the moment you knew? I want to know, are you going through a divorce now? Because if you are, and you need a hand, I want to hear from you. Hoot and holler at me. Guys, have an amazing rest of your afternoon. If there's anything else you want to hear me rant about or talk about family law or anything regarding marriages and, and family, let me know because I'm happy to do a live. I plan to do a whole bunch of lives about kind of random stuff that really affect everyone's lives, but people don't often talk as much as they should do. On And on that note, guys, have an amazing rest of your day. I'll check you later.